Welcome learners. In this video titled Tribes of Bihar and West Bengal 1, we will be discussing about the tribes of Bihar in detail. Across the belt of central India, running from the border of Gujarat through Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Orissa and Bengal, there lies a vast tract of undulating upland interspersed with hilly spurs and fertile valleys. The area is generally forested and the eastern part is richly endowed with valuable mineral deposits. It is populated by tribal communities. In the state of Bihar, this area is covered by the Chotanagpur division and the Santal Paragnas district of the Bhagalpur division. Bihar is home to a multitude of tribes that constitute its major chunk of culture and social scenario. Before the year 2000, the number was even higher. But after the segregation of Jharkhand state, most of the tribes have moved to the Jharkhand. Most important and biggest of them all was the Santal tribe. Demographics of tribals at Bihar. The scheduled tribe population in the state of Bihar, as per 2011 census, constitute 1.28% of the total population of the state. The decadal Growth of ST population has been 76.25%, which is 58.83% higher than the state's decadal growth rate. The state has a total of 32 scheduled tribes and all of them have been enumerated at 2011 census. The scheduled tribes are rural as 94.6% of them dwell in villages. If one goes by the district-wise distribution of ST population, then the Katihar district has the highest proportion of STs, preceded by Jamui, Banka, and Purnia. Shohar district has the lowest proportion of the STs, followed by Darbanga and Kagaria. Out of 29 scheduled tribes, Santal is the most populous tribe, having a headcount of 4,6076 constituting 30.3% of the total ST population of the state. Oran, Karwar, Gond and Taru are the other largest tribes. Cultural elements of tribals of Bihar. Tribes of Bihar maintain their exclusivity by retaining their own identity and stature. Exuberance in the culture of these tribes of Bihar state are portrayed in its various elements, including its house decoration, artworks, dance, festival, musical melodies, etc. The tribes of Bihar have a number of languages of their own. Most of the tribal languages fall into two categories, the Austric and the Dravidian. Mundri, Ho, Santali, Kharia, Birhori, etc. belong to the Austric family, while Kurik, the language of the Oran, and Malto, the language of the Malayr, of Santal, Paragnas belong to the Dravidian group. Mundri, Santali, Ho and Oran are well-developed languages and have their own literatures also. For a long time, their folklore was communicated through the oral tradition, but they have now been written down and fresh works are also appearing either in the Devanagari or in Roman script. Most of the tribes of Bihar reside in mud houses with thatched roofs. The roofs are marked with baked tiles. Often these houses have provision for kitchen gardens that grows various items like vegetables and a space for their cattle that they have domesticated. Some of the tribes have sloppy dwellings. Some of them live in the leaf houses. Santal tribes are the best plant along with the different apartments for the old folks. Cultural embellishment of these tribes of Bihar is also exhibited by the celebration of festivals. The most important festival for the tribes of Bihar is Sarhul, which celebrates the blossoming of sal trees. Each and every tribal communities of Bihar celebrate this festival in the early days of springtime. Sal trees are worshipped in the sacred orchard. Different tribes have different ways of celebrating this festival. However, each one of these tribes of Bihar worships the spirit of the sal tree to try to find its blessings for a good harvesting. Most of the tribe of Bihar practice cultivation, shifting cultivation in particular. The most significant crop of these tribes of Bihar is paddy. 
On a daily basis, the meal of these tribes comprises of boiled cereals and millets. Amongst the delicacies include a curry of boiled vegetables or meat or any of the edible roots and tubers adequately seasoned with salt and chilies. One of the most noteworthy thing is that milk and all the milk products are entirely absent from the menu of these tribes of Bihar. Amongst all the tribes of Bihar state, marriage is also an important institution. Special rituals are celebrated. As soon as a child is born, the first thing that the child is given is a drop of milk of the goat before he is allowed to suck the mother's milk. Taboo is that goat's milk is never savoured afterwards as they thought that it is going to make the child quite argumentative. Religious nature of these tribes of Bihar is best represented in the fact that there are diverse gods and goddesses varying both in number and strength. For example, the Ho tribes have the tradition of appeasing only two village deities. These are namely the Saoli and Jahira Buru. According to the eminent anthropologists, some of these tribes of Bihar worship as many as 10 to 12 deities throughout the year. Invocation of spirits too is a popular phenomenon. However, most of the tribes river the Singh Bonga as the supreme being. In fact, all the houses of the tribes of Bihar have a sacred space completely devoted for the spirits since the fear of infuriating dead ancestors haunts the tribal people. Breaking of epidemics and diseases can also occur due to some encroachment of several of the taboo. Some even believe that hostile spirits, the ghosts of the dead, are also responsible. Appeasing ancestral spirits is very important to the tribal people who also execute sacrifices, mainly of animals also, for propitiating the ancestors. For the purpose of getting an in-depth insight into the tribal life of Bihar, we shall elaborate on the social and cultural lives of the main tribes at Bihar. The third largest tribal communities of India are distributed in the states of Bihar. West Bengal, Orissa, and Tripura. The Santal call themselves Hor, which means man. The community is divided into two groups, namely Deswali, Santal, and Karwar. As per the anthropologist's observations, these Santal tribes mostly reside in every possible corner of the districts of Bagalpur, Purnia, Sharsa, and Munger in Bihar. As far as the languages of these Santal tribes are concerned, they converse with others in their own dialect commonly known as Santali. This Santali language is believed to be one of the ancient languages of Indian subcontinent. It falls into the Munda group of the Aust it falls into the Munda group of the Austro-Asiatic subfamily, which again embellishes the broad language family, namely Austric family of languages. However, as a recent phenomenon, it has been observed that several people of these Santal tribal community converse with each other in Oriya language. At present, most of them speak and understand Hindi, Bengali and Oriya languages. What is also significant about these Santal tribes of Bihar region is how these tribal communities are being segregated. It is quite well known that the whole of the Santal society has a division of 12 patrilineal exogamous clans. The respective members of the group are again utilizing the names of these clans from time to time as surnames. Santal tribal culture is also being nicely reflected in the way they build their houses, in their food habits, etc. These Santal tribes reside in airy houses with veranda both at the front and back sides. The houses are almost dirt free and the walls are usually adorned with a variety of artistic paintings in diverse colors. The food of the Santal tribes is too exotic. The Santal tribes have the habit of drinking alcohol, especially at the time of festivals and during celebrations of joyous socio-religious ceremonies. Beer produced from rice is their conventional drink. These Santal tribes make this drink at their individual houses. Quite often, these Santal tribes also buy alcohol from the local vendors, which 
are known as mahua. Fair and festivals are also a part and parcel of the culture of the Santal tribal community. They celebrate festivals like Karama festival and Makar Sankranti on an elaborate manner. Dancing, singing and drinking accompany several other socio-religious ceremonies like birth, marriage and even death. Just like most of the Santal tribes of Indian territory, these Santal tribes work as cultivators. Some of them even take up the occupation of agricultural laborers in the fields. With the end of every harvesting season also, some of these Santal tribes immigrate to certain other places and take up the job of daily wagers, though on a temporary basis. However, till date, these Santal tribes are less proficient in the field of education and learning. For better controlling and administration, these Santal tribes have developed the concept of village panchayat system. All the heads of the family constitutes the members of Santal tribes. The village leader is known as Manji, who used to hold rent-free land for his service. Their general rate of literacy is low, but there are some well-qualified Santal persons who have excelled in their respective fields. Their active interest in the political affairs is evident from their representation in the state legislature and statutory, statutory village and regional councils and political leadership has emerged from among them at the regional and state level through participation in the Jharkhand movement. Oran tribes Oran is one of the tribal communities found in India which mainly depends on agriculture for earning their living. They also call themselves Kuruk. According to Roy, in the year 1915, they probably owe their name Kuruk to their hero king Karak. These tribes are mainly found in the states of Jharkhand, Bihar, West Bengal and Orissa. Orans are considered to have the second largest population of tribes in Bihar and Jharkhand. Efficient, particularly in tea garden works. Orans are believed to have settled in the Chotanagpur Plateau centuries ago. Orans speak Kuruk language which belongs to the northern subgroup of this Dravidian family of languages. The Devanagari script is used by them. Orans are further divided into sub-castes like Kudas and Kisans who follow patrilineal family customs. There are a total of 14 clans in Oran tribal community like Gari, Lakra, Kispota, Runda, Turkey, Topo, Linda, Ekka, Kuzur, Bek, Kerketa, Bandi, Minz, and Kalho. This tribal community in India is also known worldwide as they still believe in following age-old custom of human sacrifice. These sacrifices are carried out during the famous Sarhul festival celebrated before cultivation of crops as a mark of respect to please the local deity. Majority of the Oran tribes are Hindus and are religious minded people. Majority of the Oran tribes are Hindus and are religious minded people. They worship gods and goddesses but at a great number of these tribes have adopted Christianity. In the ancient days, this community used to follow Sarna religion. Festivals have been a part of life for tribal since ancient time. Sarhul and Karma are the two main important festivals of these tribals. They are also very fond of music and dance. Karma, Jadur, Dasai and Kaga Parva are their most favorite dances. Traditional instruments like Nagara, Kartal and Mandar are still used by these people. Until a few years ago, they practiced child marriage. Spouses are generally acquired through negotiation or with mutual consent. Bride price consisting of token cash and some garments is paid by them. They are patrilocal people. Either the husband or wife can seek divorce. They have nuclear or extended families. The marriage takes place at the bride's place and it is consummated at the groom's house. The dead are generally buried and sometimes cremated. The Oran women tattoo their bodies in intricate symmetrical emblems which they make according to their affiliation with certain totems. In most of the Oran, the economic importance of forests has considerably been reduced due to its extensive destruction. Only who live near to forests have some degree of dependence on it. 
They are mainly settled cultivators and also work as wage laborers and industrial workers. A number of Orans are engaged in salaried jobs in government and private organizations. The Orans, especially Christians, are a well-educated group. This is due to the presence of schools even in the remotest of areas. The modern system of medicine has not completely replaced their traditional medicinal system. Their attitude towards family planning is not favorable. Firewood and dry leaves are used as fuel. For the irrigation of cultivable land, they depend on rain. Cultivators use organic manure as well as chemical fertilizers and insecticides. Essential commodities are available through fair price shops. Karwar tribes. They are different from the revivalist religious group bearing the same name among the Santals. According to Prasad, in the year 1961, the Karwar once resided in the Son Valley. In Bihar, they are distributed among the hilly and forest areas. Sadri and Indo-Aryan languages spoken at home and Hindi with others. They use the Devanagari script. The Karwar have six endogamous groups and these groups are again divided into number of exogamous totemic clans. They use Singh and Kerketa as surnames. Monogamy is the general form of marriage and the earlier practice of polygyny is discouraged now. Adult marriage has replaced child marriage. They acquire spouse through negotiation, exchange, courtship and intrusion. Customarily, they have to pay bride price, post-marital, residence is patrilocal, divorce is allowed with social approval and compensation is paid to the aggrieved parties. Widow remarriage is allowed. The Karwar live the Karwar live both in nuclear and extended families. The women carry out various domestic chores as well as other socio-economic pursuits and contribute towards family income. They cremate or bury the dead and observe pollution for 10 days. Settled cultivation is the primary occupation of the Karwar, being supplemented by hunting, gathering, wage labor, business and service. Of them, 56.67% are cultivators, 25.46% agricultural laborers, 1.05% are engaged in livestock, forestry, hunting, etc. and the remaining 16.82% in various other occupations. The Karwars have made moderate progress in the field of education. They use both indigenous and modern systems of medicine. A few among them have been granted loans by governmental agencies. Their children are served midday meals at schools. They are served by the public distribution system, but not very regularly. In times of monetary crisis, they depend on local money lenders. Gone tribes. Numerically, the most dominant tribe of India, their homeland extends from the Satpura range down to the Godavari, from Uttar Pradesh and Jharkhand to Andhra Pradesh and from Maharashtra to Orissa. The mother tongue of Gonds at Bihar is Sadri. They are conversant with Hindi and they use Devanagari script. There are three main divisions namely the Rajgond, the Durgond and Kimia among them. A system of cross-cousin marriage exists among Gonds of Bihar. The marriage of first cousins is considered suitable. Bride price is also prevalent. Marriage is generally adult. The most distinctive feature of a Gon marriage is that the procession starts from the bride's house and the wedding is held at that of the bridegroom in contradiction to the Hindu practice. The remarriage of widows is freely permitted. Divorce is freely allowed on grounds of adultery, inability to bear children, quarrelsome, disposition or is suspected to being a witch. Polygamy is freely allowed and the Gonds who can afford the expense are fond of taking a number of wives. Wives are very useful for cultivation as they work better than hired servants and to have several wives is a sign of wealth and dignity. The religious practices of the Gonds present much variety. The worship of ancestors is an integral part of the religion. They observe festivals like Sarhul, Karma, Bamba, etc. in Bihar. Agriculture is the mainstay, coupled with the hunting and food gathering. The Gonds are mainly engaged in agriculture and the great bulk of them are 
farm servants and laborers. Total literacy rate among Goans is 60.9%. Male educated are 72.8% and female educated 48.7%. This indicates the good progress in social education. The attitude towards family planning is somewhat indifferent. The public distribution system for selling essential items is sufficiently used. They seek the help of moneylenders. Some of them avail the facilities under IRDP system. Conclusion We started the unit with an introductory note on the tribes of Bihar. Next, we discussed the demographic profile and cultural elements in the tribal life of Bihar. Also, we tried to have an insight into the major tribes of Bihar.